This video shows how to lay out the floor for installation of a revolving door. The door should be installed on the finished floor. Do not proceed with installation until the finished floor has been installed. On the floor, measure and find the midpoint of the two vertical wall jams. Pop a chalk line between the two vertical jam midpoints. This will be the center line of the revolving door. Next, measure the opening and mark the center between the two jams. This creates the center point of the door. Measure 12 inches out from the center point on the center line on each side of the center point and mark. The compass is made from a set of trammel points and a piece of aluminum bar stock. Determine the inside radius of the door from the blueprints. For this door, the inside radius is 39 inches, and we have set the trammel points of the compass accordingly. Your door's radius may be different. Again, check the blueprint. From the center point, use a compass to mark the entire interior diameter of the door. From one of the 12 inch marks you made off the center point, mark two arcs as shown.
From the other 12 inch mark, repeat the process so the arcs cross. Snap a chalk line between the two sets of arcs. You now have a line that is exactly perpendicular to the center line drawn earlier. Looking at the radius from above, you should end up with something that looks like this. Here is a quick review of the floor layout procedure. Mark the midpoint of the two wall jams. Snap a chalk line between these two points. Mark the center point between the two wall jams. Measure 12 inches out from the center point on the center line on each side of the center point and mark. Set the compass to the same radius as the inside radius of the door. Position the compass on the center point of the door and draw a circle. Position the compass at one of the 12 inch off center marks and draw two arcs. From the other 12 inch mark, repeat the process so that the arcs cross. Snap a chalk line between the two sets of arcs.